Welcome to Science with Father, a YouTube channel dedicated to sharing science with you in a fun and interactive way. Enjoy! <laughs> I love pinball. I play a mean pinball, I tell you. An interesting thing about pinball is that it models very well a really big concern that climatologists all over the world have right now. That concern is the greenhouse effect. Let me show you what I mean. Before we can talk about the greenhouse effect, we need to first start with just what our atmosphere does for us here on Earth. If we could get in a rocket and get above Earth's atmosphere, and go for a spacewalk, the side of our suit facing the sun would be the boiling temperature of water, 212 degrees Fahrenheit and the side of our suit facing away from the sun is 274 degrees Fahrenheit below zero or negative 274 degrees. Why don't we feel that crazy range of temperatures on Earth during the day and night? Is it because our Earth spins? Nope. It is our atmosphere that keeps our temperatures nice and cozy for us here on Earth's surface. During the day, our atmosphere is a shield that blocks the most energetic and harmful rays from the sun. And during the night, Earth's surface is emitting heat absorbed from the sunlight during the day. And certain gases in our atmosphere block heat like a pinball machine and do not let heat easily escape, keeping our Earth from becoming a frozen block of ice at night. Just what is a greenhouse? A greenhouse is a building that is built out of glass. Glass is used because it lets the visible rays of the sun pass through, which are then absorbed by plants and other colored or black surfaces inside the greenhouse. When visible light is absorbed, it gets converted to heat. Have you ever touched a white or black surface that has been out in the sun? The white surface reflects the visible rays. That's why it looks so bright. The black surface absorbs all the sun's visible rays, converting all this energy to heat. This can be seen with Dr. Smith's infrared thermometer. These two objects have been out in the sun. The black one is a lot hotter as measured by the IR thermometer. The table, plants, and other surfaces in a greenhouse absorb visible light during the day. The visible light is converted to heat and then emitted by the objects. However, the greenhouse is surrounded by glass, and glass is an insulator. Glass lets visible light through, but blocks heat. So heat builds up inside a greenhouse due to the light transmission properties of glass. A greenhouse is similar to how our atmosphere works. Our atmosphere is 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. What is strange is neither of these gases can block heat. Heat passes right through them. So that means the remaining 1% of our atmospheric gases must be doing all the work when it comes to blocking heat like a pinball machine. In fact, these remaining gases are terrific at blocking heat. Heat blocking gases in our atmosphere are carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone. Of these heat blocking gases, the EPA reports that it is mostly carbon dioxide. This animation may help us see what is going on in our atmosphere when it comes to the greenhouse effect. The yellow dots are sunlight and the red dots are heat coming from the Earth's surface. Earth's last ice age peaked about 18,000 years ago. Carbon dioxide levels were much lower than they are today, roughly 30% lower. 
so the pinball effect on heat from carbon dioxide didn't occur as much as it does today. A lot of heat escaped our atmosphere 18,000 years ago. If we look at the animation set for today, we can see that the pinball effect on heat by carbon dioxide occurs much more often due to the higher concentration of carbon dioxide. In fact, today, scientists believe each photon of heat released from the Earth's surface is blocked at least once before finally escaping into space. That definitely was not the case 18,000 years ago. So in a sense, the greenhouse effect acts as a thermostat for our planet. Our planetary thermostat is set too low when we have a low concentration of greenhouse gases. And when the concentration of greenhouse gases is too high, Earth's average temperatures rise, causing ice sheets to melt, oceans to rise, and other complicating meteorological factors that climatologists are continuing to learn about today. Let's review. Greenhouse gases make up less than 1% of our atmosphere, but are terrific heat blockers. Carbon dioxide is the most abundant greenhouse gas. Earth's greenhouse effect is similar to a pinball machine. Greenhouse gases that are present in our atmosphere, the more heat is bounced around in our atmosphere before escaping to outer space. Earth's greenhouse effect is like a thermostat that prevents wild swings in temperatures over geological periods of time. The thermostat setting corresponds to the concentration of greenhouse gases present in our atmosphere.